Yeah. Hello, thank you for joining us on our latest You Are My Borough, where we are joined by another very, very special guest all the way from Italy, Massimo Macaroni. Thank you so much for, for joining us, Massimo. How are you doing? Uh, hello to everybody. I'm fine, thanks. I'm good, very good. happy to be to, to stay here uh, with you. Yeah, we've been we've been trying to set this up for a couple of weeks. So thank you so much for your time. We um we we really appreciate it. First things first, be, before we start talking about Middlesbrough, what are you what are you up to these days? What are you what are you doing with yourself? Yeah, I start to to be a coach this year in uh, in the fourth division in Italy. Uh, I have a lot to lot of things to 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 learn and uh, I want uh, I want to be coach because uh, I finished to play just uh, three years ago I had the the experience two years ago to the second coach in the in the third division with a good coach and uh, now I want to go to to myself because uh, uh, I, I love uh, to stay in the, to the pitch, and uh, I want to uh, I want to learn my idea about the football. To be fair, you you still look fit enough that you could play centre forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, I I, I do in the, a lot of sports, lot right. uh, especially uh, when I finish to play. It, um i love to be to play a paddle do you know paddle mm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah it's a good sport uh, i love uh, to stay with my friend uh, and uh and, uh, and for me it's very good uh, after uh, after football uh, to to be uh very in the, in the fit yeah stay active stay active yeah stay active yeah I know it's not the most active sport in the world, but I, I remember you once telling me, Massimo, that snooker was your favourite sport and you love you yeah. playing lots of snooker. <laughs> yeah, I, I love to play snooker, but now in Italy, you do use a lot of uh, snooker, just the pool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I miss, I miss uh, this. I miss snooker. Oh wow! Well, there we go. Well, I, I think you missed at Middlesbrough as well because the fans certainly yeah, yeah. Uh, Middlesbrough, of course, Middlesbrough. So, yeah, still I, remember. I, I can't. Uh, I, I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to to be back uh, in the Riverside Stadium. Is uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's fantastic memory, of course, because uh, the fans with me was uh, amazing. Is uh, fantastic, and. Uh, and we never forget that, especially the moment uh, we we stay together, uh, uh, especially in the 2006 when uh, or 2004 when uh, we won the the Carling Cup, and uh, in the 2006 uh, when uh, we arrived to to the to the final to the UEFA Cup, but. Uh, uh, we after we is a good moment and a bad moment because uh, uh, we lose uh, the, the the last uh, game. Yeah, yeah, that that's true. I know, I know. Obviously, Middlesbrough lost in the final, but but those memories of the quarter final and the semi final will 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 stay with fans forever. We we'll have to start there. We'll, we'll start with Basel, the quarter final. What what are your memories of of that night? Yeah, a lot of memory because uh, sometimes uh, I still go to to the YouTube to to see the the games mm -hmm. and the goal because uh, and uh, I have a good memory for a fantastic memory about uh, when I, in the end the the game to the quarter, the final, and the semi final when uh, when I went to the support. And uh, the, the, and the, I listen my name, and uh, it was fantastic. And uh, for that, uh, I have the pleasure to to back the stadium uh, up front uh, the the middle the, the borough fans. Mm. I mean, the, the the Basel game was obviously you know incredible. It felt like a once in a lifetime game, and then obviously Stour comes around and it, and it, and it happens again. I mean, what what was the feelings during that Stour game? Because to do it once 
was pretty much unheard of. But to do it twice just seemed impossible. So, I mean, were there times in that game when you thought, are we going to do this? Or because you'd done it once, did it feel like you could do it again? Yeah, it was... Uh... <laughs> Um, how do you say that is uh, is different is difficult sometimes in one time but uh, with mm. with that two times in one month is uh, yeah. unbelievable uh, but I think so is a good uh, fix because uh, um, this thing I use it sometimes with my player because we have to believe always uh, to to the things if if if, uh, if you want you can do uh every time is uh, is difficult but uh yeah i think this is the, the 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 mentality the mentality uh the atmosphere about the stadium uh, they support us and uh and after uh is more easy if uh, i stay in the pitch no, because uh, <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> what, 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 what did what did Steve McLaren say to you when he when when he put you on in the Stoya game? Because uh, was it Gareth Southgate who went off early, wasn't it? And and you went on. What what did McLaren say at that time? Yeah, uh, he, he, he told to me you go to the pitch and uh, uh, we try to do the same things. Uh, what we uh with uh sorry for my english uh we did uh, the most before yeah and uh, yeah. And, uh, and that uh you know when i when i went in the pitch uh, and uh, after uh, five minutes we scored the fourth goal and after i think so the the atmosphere uh help us to 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 do that because uh you know you have uh, a lot of energy energy mm for uh, to believe uh, yes we did one time we can do the second time yeah and and i mean you, you had some fantastic moments during your career at middlesbrough you had some fantastic moments in italy both before middlesbrough and after middlesbrough but but those two nights are, are they still right up there near the top of of everything you did in football yes my uh... Uh, my career after, before, after uh, Middlesbrough is, was good. Middlesbrough, I have, uh, uh, I was young. Uh, mm. uh, after the the semi final, after the um, uh, the final, final. Uh, many teams they want me to to go to the to, oh. the, to change the club, no? Yeah, but. Uh, in, uh, to myself, uh, I always said no. I want to stay here because uh, I want. To, I know the the, the people uh, love me, and mm -hmm. uh, I want to stay here because I I want to do um, more things. But after you know, uh, always uh, you 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 want to do some things, but uh, sometimes it's difficult. Yeah. And for that, it was the moment to finish my career in my season in uh in Middlesbrough because uh uh okay the, the people the fans yeah. believe in me but uh, after uh, Southgate it doesn't be believe in me and uh I was young and they said I want to play I want to uh to finish uh, or to continue the, my career uh, to the to the other team mm. just, just just one final question on the on the Basel and, and the Stoya games I remember you telling me that after the game I think it was the night after the game. You went to was it was it Cesari's on on Linthorpe Road? Yeah, Cesari's. Yes. And the fans were knocking on the window, trying singing your name. <laughs> oh, that, must be, that must have been pretty incredible, was it? Yeah, it was unbelievable because uh, uh, after the game, uh, I have uh, some Italian friend uh, uh, in the restaurant, and I, and they went, and after the game, they many fans they coming to knock the the window. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> And uh, this, the other time it was in the semi final as well because uh, it's my my things. And they said, that Now I have to go to the Sassari, and I want more people coming to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. they've all been great. That's what you're yeah. expecting. Yeah. 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 But uh, the, the people is uh, fantastic because uh, they always have the respect. This is the, the, the good things. 
And it, but it sounds like that your kind of time at Middlesbrough as a whole, you would probably look back on it a little bit mixed because you had some brilliant moments, but you probably never got the chance to show what you could really do over a long period. Is that fair, do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so because uh, uh, my first my first years uh, I start well and uh, and finish well. In the middle, mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, just a little bit. My feet wasn't very good. It's okay, but the, the second year is uh, the problem for me. I think uh, was the the bad injury that I had in the uh, the start of the season, mm -hmm. and I missed the. I'm back to play. I remember again against Newcastle after four months. Yeah. Uh, and after uh, the the third year, uh, McLaren uh, they they told me I have uh, to take another forward. Uh, is, uh, I was frustrated because uh, I when I when I came to Middlesbrough, I have uh, I think like, in my mind uh, uh, here. Uh, is, is my place because uh, yeah. the fans is good the stadium i love the stadium i love to play in the stadium uh, and after for many things uh, is uh, uh, i have uh, asked, uh, I, don't, I don't remember how they said that sorry right. <laughs> uh, some moment is good uh, some moment is no good never yeah. i said one season uh, good and after when i when uh, i i lived Middlesbrough. Uh, I have uh, four or five years. Uh, is uh, the the continue that my career is a uh, good fit. Uh, I played uh, always, always played. Uh, this this is uh, help help me for the to continue my career. Yeah. What, what, what Scott there talked about kind of the mixed emotions. Was, was that what the Carling Cup final was like? Because obviously, great occasion for Middlesbrough. Um, but you were a substitute. Is that is that right? Looking back, yeah, um, that was at the bed. I, I yeah, played, which uh, must have been disappointing yeah. from a personal point of view, was it? Yeah, personally, I was very disappointed because I played uh, all the game, uh, quarter, uh, quarter, the final, semi final, uh, and after uh, they they take the the, the decision to, uh, to 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 put me in the bench, but. Uh, uh you know uh every player they want to play especially the yeah. final uh, i was very happy for my for the player for uh, the fans for her but i was uh, frustrated uh, uh inside is i think it's normal because uh, i want to every player want to stay in the pitch to to help the team mm. And and I mean that Middlesbrough team you were part of though is the best Middlesbrough team that there's been for 20, 30, 40 years. You know, that it will all it, it will be remembered as that for a long, long time to come. I mean, who yeah. who that you played with kind of stood out as being, you know, really big parts of that team and, and that you're pleased you were able to get the chance to play with. Uh understand and not all the question. Can I, can you repeat me the yeah yeah, yeah. so, uh, so that sorry. team no no don't yeah. worry don't worry as i keep saying your english is a lot better than my italian so don't worry <laughs> um, that that middlesbrough team that you played yeah. with um is the best middlesbrough team for a long long time yeah. yeah who were the players in that team that you thought were really important and that you are pleased that you got the chance to play with uh the the more uh important player it was in the mm. team no yeah yeah i think it's a lot because uh uh we have uh, george botting uh, have yeah. a good personality uh yeah. ugo egyok yeah southgate uh <laughs> swartz uh swartz market swartz uh but everybody Jordan, because yeah, uh, yeah. yeah frank quadro yeah uh, Mendieta, Mendieta was uh, the fantastic player. Uh, he, he must have been brilliant to see in training. Men Mendieta. Yeah, and the training is it was. Uh, I think so for me is the, the the best player uh, I've ever uh, had the training with. Uh, yeah, with me. He's right. Really fantastic player. But uh, I think so we have a fantastic group. Hmm. Uh, everybody uh, have uh, uh, his history. And yeah. uh, for that, I think so when you have the 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 important group, uh, you you can do that. Uh, win the Carling Cup, uh, go to the 
uh, UEFA Cup final. Uh, if you don't have the fantastic group, you can't do that. And 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 in in terms of the squad, there were some incredible strikers as well. Jimmy Floyd, Hasselbank, Mark, yeah, yeah. Marvi Duca, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Have mean, it. training training must have been quite quite competitive, was it? Was was Viduka the best? Yeah, Viduka thinks the best, uh, and but uh, Jimmy Floyd as well is uh, was a fantastic uh, player for me, especially Mark Viduka helped me. Uh, a lot because uh, uh, every, every 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 day uh, on the end of the the, season, the training we we just, we always uh, st uh, stay to the pitch to to shooting mm, and, right. uh, and uh, he told me if you want to shoot very good you have to training every day. And for that, helped me because I I I, uh, I, I was young and uh, uh, is a, a part is good player is a, was a good person. And how you you were you, I mean you were obviously very young when you first came over. So how did you find moving to England, moving to Middlesbrough, living in Teesside? Because it, moving anywhere is hard when you're young, but moving to a completely different country must have been hard. Yeah, it's very hard because uh, um, you say that was very young. Uh, is uh, my family was uh, in Italy? Is the was the first time for me? Uh, it's different uh, language. It's different mm. uh, culture, uh, history. Uh, yeah. The uh, you know when, uh, but I, I think so the some people help me when uh, especially. When I arrived there, uh, uh, Gianluca Festa uh, yeah. was there, yeah, and uh, he helped me a lot for uh, to find the the Italian family. Uh, it helped me in, the, in many things, especially um, I, I'm always heard this person in Middlesbrough because uh, we we had a friend now. Uh, and they, he helped me a lot for uh, for the for the English uh, to to help me for uh, when I, when I was alone because uh, we training every day in the morning and after uh, I have all day free yeah. in the afternoon in the evening and, and uh, I always stay with him with him mm -hmm. or or with uh, play snooker <laughs> or, <laughs> or, with, or in Sassari. This yeah. Was, uh, my, <laughs> where, where did you play snooker? Did you have a snooker table in your house, or no, 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 no? Oh. Because in Italy, no, no, nobody else. Uh, nobody plays. Nobody else uh, play. Uh, I have a small table. So you did you go to? Oh yeah. yeah. right. I was. Yeah, getting, yeah. I thought. I thought you were maybe going to. Ry was it Riley's the snooker club? And yeah, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wondered whether you were there every afternoon. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, when you talk about you know when you first came to um, England and 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 getting used to the culture and and the club, what about the what about the price tag? Because you you know you came for eight million pounds, which was an awful lot yeah. of money. You were you were a young lad, like you said. Did did you feel the pressure of what Middlesbrough had paid for you? No, I think so. No, because uh, I started very well, and my first two three months, I think, is my best three best uh, three months uh, to my period in uh, in uh, Middlesbrough for uh, for attitude uh, for uh, play because uh, I played all the game uh, and uh, no because I when I don't think that they they have a lot of pressure for that because uh, I I love the pre the the, the, right. the pressure it's my yeah. it's my motivation big motivation uh, but. Uh, I think uh, uh, the second year doesn't help me after injury because right. uh, I never back uh, the, the same in the fourth year. Are you are you looking back now though? Are you pleased that you came to Middlesbrough that you had that time with Middlesbrough because you could have stayed in Italy and had the whole of your career in Italy? But are you pleased that you you tried English football and got to sample something different? Yes, it's different, but uh, I I think I understand the question. Eh? 
Um, I, I love the English football uh, perché, uh, yeah. because uh, uh, this, the, the training ground is, uh, is very beautiful in England. Here in Italy, Italy we, we don't have that. Okay. And, uh, and uh, for me, I've, uh, I, I have to, to learn more English because uh, one day I want to come to training in England because right. I, I love I love I love to uh, to to come in that and uh, I have a good friend now is uh, the Zerbi uh, yeah, Roberto okay. is, oh really right yeah he's my friend he, he have my age we 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 played uh, together in the AC Milan the, in younger academy for five right. years I know he's very he's very good uh, coach uh, yeah, brilliant. And I, I think so, the, 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 the structure of the training ground uh, in England is, a, I think, is the best in the world. Mm. Did, you, did you always have an in interest in English football before you came to Middlesbrough then? Did you, did you grow up watching A little bit. Football? Yeah, no, yeah, a little bit because I think so, the English football is very good. Uh, but you know, before when uh, we don't we doesn't have the the Sky Sport uh, uh, yeah. in Italy like like that, like that uh, you can see now here I can see all, all the game in England. Before it wasn't uh, like that. And so, how is your team doing at the minute? How are, how are things going? No, but uh, my team is a uh, is a young is a young, young. team. Yeah, yeah, we are. Close. Uh, we are three games left. Yeah. We are uh, for the for the, the for the club. Uh, they want to save, uh, but uh, we are now we are with three games left. We are close to play off to go up, and uh, okay. we, we have a, a fantastic season. Oh, brilliant! Hopefully, yeah. celebrating a. A double you you go up through the playoffs and and Middlesbrough go up yeah, yeah I hope, I hope, do, I hope. do you still follow do you still follow and see how how Middlesbrough are doing these days yeah 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 I saw I saw um, I saw we change uh, the, the when uh, the uh, Middlesbrough changed the the coach uh, the oh now is very good with Carrick mm. and uh, and after I have the the second t-shirt for uh, Boro because uh, I put uh, this uh, this summer, and uh, I, I, I have I have in my in my house, and uh, I support always uh, Middlesbrough. But when I, the, I left Middlesbrough uh, seventeen years ago, hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, every year I I look, I see, I see the game, I, I saw every. Every Sunday or Saturday, the, the result because uh, I want uh, uh, Middlesbrough is stay in the Premier League or go to the Premier League. They stay for a long time. I, I remember you telling me, Massimo, when, when we last spoke. You, I think your two daughters were were maybe four and six at the time, and you said when they're older, you're going to show them the, the YouTube videos of the UEFA Cup nights. Have you have you sat them down and made them watch those games back yet? Yeah, now they now have uh, one uh, nine and one eleven. And uh, now she they understand a little bit. And, uh, they, they, saw my, they saw my video, they saw my video. But uh, when, uh, when, uh, when uh, one day uh, I hope early I come into to the stadium that I want to my girl with me. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Don't make them because watch the I, Yeah, because I want to they, they say that the the atmosphere in the river stadium. Yeah. And 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 before we wrap up, just a just a few more minutes, Massimo. You you obviously went back to Italy after after you've uh, after you after you'd left Middlesbrough and and you played you played for for many years. How how old were you when you retired and was it was it just because you kept yourself so fit that you were able to keep playing for so long? Yeah, I played a lot. I played 23 years in the professional football. Uh, uh, I finished my career in Serie A uh, 38. 
after I went uh, one year in Australia and uh, and after I finished in the third division the last two years, uh, two years ago, I finished my career to 41 years and uh, I played wow. uh, a lot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I because remember uh, watching. Uh, sorry, remember? Sorry, no, no, you, you carry on, Massimo, sorry. No, I said uh, my. I like to stay in the pitch. Uh, you know, the smile uh, the, to the pitch is good. Uh, I love that. For that, I want to be a coach now because uh, you can, you know, you when you finish one player finish the career, they want they can do some things. Uh, the actor, uh, agent. Uh, but for me, the stay to the pitch is uh, I, I love too much. Hmm. Oh, fantastic. Well, well, thank you so, so much for your time, Massimo. We, we really do appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, to you to, for the interview. We'll yes. hopefully see you at the Riverside soon. That will be great. I, I hope to come, uh, to come very early, especially if <laughs> I finish uh, uh, early, I want to come to see the playoff. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. We could we could we'll, maybe we'll, have... we'll jump on, we'll jump on a plane and come and watch your playoff. There's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> last 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 fifteen minutes is okay <laughs> <laughs> for my goal with the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well, thank thank you so so much, Massimo. Good luck. Good luck for the rest of the season. Um, thank you. Keep, keep in touch, and we'll we'll hopefully see you at the Riverside very soon. Yeah, thank you very much to you. Come on, Boro. Thank you. Bye-bye.